Jeff, after all of the uh, defenses you've seen, what's it like for to, to just to go against a, a kind of a basic defense uh, at the end of a game? I mean, part of that is because what we what we put out there, we had enough shooting, and, and me and Draymond, and you know, pick and roll situations. We've done it regular season, playoff type atmospheres, and it's kind of our bread and butter when we get to it. He made some plays, you know, at the basket. I got some open looks from three. Um, it was it was a good flow. At the end of the day, you got to make the shots to make them pay for it, though. And thankfully, you know, they win. Steve, how do you feel as the coach when you see a defense that's deciding not to double Steph? Well, it's, uh, you know, it's just, it's easier said than done, uh, Marcus. And I, I just, you know, when you commit two to, to the ball uh, against Steph, you have to do it at half court. Um, so it's not like, you know, any other traditional superstar that you've got to, you know, send to maybe at the three point line or at the elbow and you can pull your defense in. If you're going to send two to step, you have to send two to half court. And then it's, these are NBA players, you know, four on three is pretty easy. So having said that, I wouldn't be surprised if somebody does that soon. It wasn't an easy assignment. You had him guarding carry uh, at, at, at times there too. It's that's the toughest yeah. game back. Yeah. And some of that, he got switched on him. you know, um, but he wanted the assignment, you know, he, he said, I won't be great offensively. I haven't played, uh, but I could, I could try to do my best defense. I don't think anybody did a great job. Uh, and we didn't do a great job. We didn't, we didn't really, I, I thought we could have guarded him differently. Um, you know, but really we, we were flat tonight. I didn't feel any energy offensively. Uh, you said before the game, they were going to score 107 points and shoot 44%. You probably would have taken it, you know, uh, but but when we shoot 39 and only have 96, it's hard to win a game in the NBA these days. Yeah. Thank you. Kevin Kincaid. Hey, Doc, when you say you could have guarded him differently, are you talking about schematically, maybe pushing Joel and beat up a little bit higher on those screens? What do you mean specifically by that? You know, you don't want to push Joel too high. Uh, if, if you've watched Seth, he loves Big's eye. He just beats him off the dribble. Uh, so... But we could have did some things. Uh, I'm not going to give you my game plan, Kevin, but we definitely could have done. And Joel wouldn't have been one of them because you don't want that. How did it feel to be back out there on the court? And uh, how would you assess the way you played tonight? I don't think I played well. Um, it was it was great to be back out there with the guys um, back on the court for three months off. But, um, so, you know, got a little way to go, uh, get in shape. George, how about the fact that you haven't played in a while and yet you were on uh, Curry a lot and uh, Coach Rivers said you, you wanted to do that. H how about having that challenge your first game back? I mean, I just love to compete. Um, no matter what, uh, I'm going to compete defensively, uh, play hard as I can, play the right way. Um, and, you know, I, I like the challenge. You know, I think he's on a historic run right now. Um, he's making uh, tough shots um, from everywhere on the floor. Uh, and he's playing at that all-star, that MVP caliber uh, player that he's been playing at many years ago. So um, I like the challenge and I like the opportunity, uh, but just trying to get back in shape. 